Hello, I'm Mark Rice of Cutter Networks. Let's see, what should we talk about today? Hmm, I've got a great idea. Let's talk about the RAD FCD IPM. What is a RAD FCD IPM? Where is it used? What's it look like? Well, all of these are good questions, and we're going to answer those questions right now. A RAD FCD IPM is used on traditional T1 or E1 circuits that are found all over the world. If you need to have a router, at the, you need to terminate your T1 or E1, and you need a router, but you need more than a router. You need the ability to be able to hand off some FXS uh, connections or FXO connections or perhaps some ENM or serial data connections for something totally unrelated to the, the normal main data stream. How do you do that? The RAD FCD IPM is just the way. Two modular slots on that unit. You can order it where you can terminate that E1 or T1. You can have an E1 or T1 sublink go to a PBX. And then additionally, you've still got two slots left that you can put cards in for FXS, FXO, and E&M and data. Very versatile little box. So when you need that combination, the FCD IPM is absolutely the thing to consider. RAD's been in business since 1981. They got a lot of experience under their belt. It's a rock solid little product, and you'll find out just how versatile it is if you'll take just a couple minutes and look at the data sheet. But let's look at one a little bit closer. Okay, let's take a closer look at the FCD IPM. First of all, it's a 19 inch unit, mounts on a standard equipment rack, comes with rack mounting uh, ears. You don't need to order anything extra to accomplish that. On the front of the unit, there's only really one physical connection, and that's a control port. There are numerous indicator lights to let you know what's going on both on the LAN link uh, and on the WAN link, or links, uh, depending upon how the box is configured. But you'll see that you have a data light and error lights and sync loss lights and, of course, power lights, just to indicate what's going on. Let's take a look at the back of the unit. On the back of the unit, you'll see that you have your power connection. Here's your LAN connection. Remember, this has an internal router in it. Uh, so we're coming off to a, a LAN. And on this particular model that I have here, we have a E1 a WAN link and an E1 sublink so that some of those channels can be handed off, for example, to a PBX and the balance can be used for data in the router. Uh, this, you'll see that there's, it's a modular unit which is, uh, we have these two slots over here that we could add cards into for analog voice. This particular unit doesn't currently have those installed. Okay, well now we've had a chance to take a look at an FCD IPM. You understand a little bit about what it does. If you have an application that you think might be right for this particular product, or if you want to discuss your individual needs, I hope that you'll give me a call at 727-398-5252. For more than 13 years, we've been helping people solve their data communications equipment needs, and I would look forward to working with you. You have a wonderful day.